Hello my friends, it is rare to find someone who does not know the name of the Joker or even the face of the Joker even if he is not a person who does not follow movies or series. And the person who gave the Joker that prestige and that fame is one person. This person is named Heath Ledger and he is the subject of this video. Heath Ledger is an Australian actor born on April 4, 1979 in Perth, Australia. His father was a professional racing car driver. Like most of the most successful and famous artists in the world, his beginning was very ordinary. He was acting the roles of compares like any secondary actor and also some small roles in films or series that did not have a very large budget, but of course, Heath Ledger did not stay in small roles, but tried to rise and tried to enter into roles and act in large roles, until 1997, the year in which Ledger's face would be known to producers and directors. That year he appeared for the first time on the cinema screen, in a dramatic work called Black Rock, and the penultimate point that opened the way for him to the world of stardom was in the year 1999, specifically in the movie Tim Thinks I Hit Tabasha. He played a role alongside actress Julia Sales, and this film made a qualitative leap in his life, and the years came until the day comes, which, as we say, is the point that makes the cup overflow. This point or that moment is the moment when Hit Ledger will participate in the Batman movie and perhaps he did not know that he would play the role of the best character that passed in the history of cinema, the role that he will master like what no other actor has done, which is the role of the Joker in the movie The Dark Knight. The role of the Joker was among the most difficult roles he played in his life, as Heath Ledger said in his memoirs that he was writing in. The moments when the film was being prepared he literally said about the role of the Joker. I sat in a London hotel room for about a month. I locked myself away, started writing a small memoir and tested the character's tone of voice to choose the best one. It was important to find a fairly moving and funny voice and I agreed with myself in the end that I would embody a psychopath who is the lowest degree of conscience towards his actions he is just a psychopathic clown and kills in cold blood. Although Batman the superhero was supposed to be the hero of the movie The Dark Knight of course because he is the hero of the critic. But the strange thing is that the audience all over the world considered that the hero of the movie The Dark Knight is not Batman. But the Joker acting Heath Ledger considered him the actual hero of this movie. The Joker is the character that actor Heath Ledger excelled in performing surprisingly. He was able to dress the evil character in every detail even in the way he moves the facial features, and not only that if you watch the movie you will see that the Joker in some shots does or says philosophical sentences sentences that have a very deep meaning. Also strange about the Dark Knight was the makeup that the Joker wore. In fact, it was not the makeup experts working on the film who designed it. It was Heath Ledger who personally designed it. He designed this makeup and showed it to director Nolan. One of the strange things in The Dark Knight was that there was a shot of this shot that quickly became a famous shot or scene. A scene of applause. And in fact, this applause was from Ledger's side and was not essentially in the scenario. Director Nolan said of this applause in the Joker detention scene that we found Heath suddenly standing quietly and applauding in his scary and exciting way that you saw in the film and although it was an improvisational shot of Heath Ledger's invention, it was a fairy shot, and there was another shot. This shot scared one of the actors, although he knew this was an act, he was really afraid. This actor is Michael Caine. The shot is the scene of the Joker breaking into the Batman party with the gang and when he opened the elevator the Joker entered with the gun and met the Joker assistant Batman, Michael Caine who was supposed to say a sentence. This sentence was in the script but because he saw Ledger for the first time as the Joker in a portrayal he was actually fearful of. Because of that fear, he saw Joker or Heath Ledger for the first time as Joker, forgetting that sentence he was supposed to say, 
This gives you another impression of the Joker in the execution of the Het Ledger so that actor Michael Caine said about this scene and about this fear that the Joker's body and presence were actually terrifying, even though he forgot that sentence in the screenplay but director Nolan adopted or told photographers to keep filming adopted the scene exactly as it is. The Dark Knight was an unparalleled success. It was nominated for eight Oscars during the 81st distribution ceremony and Heath Ledger won Best Supporting Actor for Incarnation of Joker. This was the first of its kind in the major Oscar categories for a film that embodied the character of a superhero, Batman. This award is usually not given in superhero films and the film was almost acclaimed by 94% of critics. For viewers, 97-98% to 98 approaches, but unfortunately the Heath Ledger, he was not there to receive his award, nor was he there to see the success of Dark Knight, and the unparalleled success of the Joker character. On January 22, 2008, exactly on Broom Street, New York, America, Teresa Salmon entered Heath Ledger's room or apartment to clean it as usual. She thought the room was empty and there was no one in it, but Heath Ledger was there. He was sleeping on his stomach, his face on the pillow and covered with duvet to the shoulders. Teresa believed that Heath was asleep and pressing into a deep sleep. She cleaned the room without making any noise or noise to not wake up, but in fact Heath Ledger was not asleep but dead. The character of the Joker was among the hardest to meet any actor and the reason why it had so much evil that Heath himself had stated before that he was living through psychological and nervous pressure because of this character. An evil, psychopathic character who has no harm and conscience towards his evil actions. Heath Ledger died on January 22, 2008. And strangely enough, the day after his death, Heath Ledger's name became the second most searched name on Google, as 10 of the 20 search words included all the things related to him, such as his ex-fiance, their daughter, his apartment address as well, and his famous movies, including Brokeback and The Patriot.